Wednesday. Welcome to Women's Wisdom Wednesday. I am so, so excited to come back today, this week. Well, I want to talk to you about wisdom for this week. Yes, this particular week leading up to Easter. So, my name is Patricia Evans. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and you click that bell. Make sure you like the video if you like it and comment below. Let's talk and please email me if you have any questions on any of the things I talk about for, for Wisdom Wednesday, all right? All right, so let me just get right into this. This is just gonna be a general chit chat for you today. This week, some interesting things happened. Um, there was something very controversial. It had to do with Satan and about Satan sneakers and about a, to a video that was put out that was uh, about a man that was giving his soul to the devil and all this horrible stuff, right? Now, Women's Wisdom Wednesday, let's think for a minute here. Do you think it's a coincidence that all of this was dropped this week? Do you think it's a coincidence that now everyone's on an uproar talking about that this week? I even was led, the Lord led me to say something this week. This week should be dedicated to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the week that Palm Sunday happened, this past Sunday. And I think a lot of this was dropped on that day or right in that right before the day or right around it. And it was not a mistake. And so I want you to be wise and I want you to realize what's going on and do not fill yourself up with any news that has to do with it, okay? I don't want you to sit around and be stressed about it like a lot of Christians would be and let yourself just get upset because of what's been done. Yes, it is upsetting and we are aware of it and we're going to give it its moment where we allow ourselves to see that these things are being done. It's a direct attack on the Christian faith and on Jesus Christ by the enemy himself. And he chose the week that we should be focusing on Jesus to do it. So what I'm proposing to you, it's Wednesday. We still have more days of this week. Let's take a shift and not focus on those things for the rest of the week. And until we celebrate our Savior's rising from the dead three days from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Let's start from this moment just praising the Lord and preparing for celebration this Sunday when we celebrate Him rising and being alive today in heaven on the right-hand side of God the Father. This is our week, Christians, those of us who are cool Christians. And you know what that means? That means you are a real Christian, right? Because you have a joy because Jesus overcame for you. All right? So we're going to focus on that this week. We're not going to focus on all the other stuff. Pray about it. Pray for the Lord to pe give you peace in your mind about it. Get through the outrage of feeling the way you feel, which is really the Holy Spirit being grieved, which makes all the sense in the world because your Savior has been uh, attacked spiritually. We know what's going on. But we're wise and now we're going to capture that and not let the enemy win because he wins if we spend the rest of this week, instead of focusing on our Lord and Savior, we focus on the attack towards our Lord and Savior. We give him our energy. So let's give the energy to the Lord. Let's spend the rest of the week enjoying this wonderful week that's dedicated to our Savior and what he did for us. This is the most important week for us. Because this is what the cornerstone of our faith is all about, y'all. If you're brand new to the Christian faith and you want to say the prayer to be a part of it, then stay to the end and I'll say that prayer with you. So you can just join in in being wise and shifting your mind as of now to really celebrate the rest of this week. I want you to do a few things that might help you. Why don't you get some spring flowers? and some Easter looking spring flowers. And if you can afford that, and if it's in within your budget of time and money, bring them and bring them in your kitchen table and just put some beautiful flowers in there to celebrate. If you have a cross in the house and you wanna put that up, we have something that says he is risen. Start getting your house all Easter ready, resurrection day ready, whatever you're calling it. Okay, um, so we're gonna focus from this point on, no more. We don't go on, and when you're on YouTube or when you're on social media, just don't look at it, don't respond to it, don't do anything to be a part of that dialogue, okay? This is our week. When other people have their week of celebration, we don't bother them, and even if the world is crazy out there, many people, when they're celebrating their special hot holy week, they pull away and they actually go with others that are like-minded and have the same faith, and they enjoy their celebration. So as real Christians, cool Christians, let's do the same. 
promise me that you will not indulge in looking at any other stuff out there that has to do with what the devil just did when he just attacked the Christian faith through an artist, okay? If you're new to knowing what I'm talking about, you haven't missed anything. Don't worry. Something really bad happened spiritually. This is not a man just doing something that's shocking. This is the devil, the enemy, attacking the Christian faith. And we need to know it, have the knowledge, but not let it get into our hearts so much that we can't enjoy our week. All right? So get some flowers. Why don't you put something aside for something beautiful to wear for Sunday if you're going to be gathering in church like we will be outside we're going to be outdoors we're going to be doing this outside god willing and we're going to be gathering so we want to get got to get my hair did got to get my outfits together if you got to get some wool light wash your stuff or go get something new whatever it is get your nails done i gotta get my nails done look all cute all right think of what you're going to cook for the weekend think of things like that and you guys know how to do the meditation that we do yeah so if you're feeling really confused stressed or anything like that in the beginning of our belly dance fit with Patrice, we do a meditation, breathing, meditation, breathing, and healing. Why don't you go ahead and do that? Comment below if you want me to do a separate video just with that again so that you can have it to do along with me, all right? And just do that through this week. Find times you guys know what I mean, what I say about having that corner for the Lord. Get a pillow. I sell one that looks just like this on the site. Go to AravetaCurls.com to get yours. You can get this shirt. You can get this mug. And you can get the pillow and the journal and all the things that I have to help you do these things. So get your corner. If you don't have a, a way of getting that right now, just get a pillow. Go in the corner. Stay prayerful every day starting with today and specifically pray it's praising Jesus, loving on him, and thanking him for dying for our sins. This is when we do that. This is when it is so important. In fact, the actual days and the time that he was crucified, we have read it's in history. So this is such an important time for us. Let's focus all our energy on it. I feel like we're going to be blessed for it. I feel like we're, we're not going to miss anything, and it's going to keep us out of being in in, in trouble. You know what I mean? So let's do that together as a group, as cool Christians, real Christians that have wisdom. We don't do things on the surface, do we? We do things based on what the Holy Spirit tells us. And the Holy Spirit is revealing to me that we could miss this if we spend too much time being distracted by the very thing that the enemy would want us to be. Something that's very horrific. So let's not do that, all right? So I promise you that I'm gonna do my very best to do the very same, and if I can, I'll post some pictures here on the community, so check it out as I do the things that I told you to do. And if you wanna share with me pictures of you maybe getting a flower, or maybe you're doing your meditation vid um, time with me, or you're sitting down praying on your pillow, or you're at church dressed real cute, can you please, please email me that? So I just wanted to encourage you Please come back and watch this video if you're feeling down. Promise me you will not get involved in those things. Give Jesus his time. He deserved it. He literally came and bore all of our sins at one time, was separated from God, and literally died for you and for me and for the whole world so that we can receive him in our hearts to be our Lord and Savior and that we can live forever and never die and go to hell. We are blessed. We are so blessed. If the Holy Spirit ever calls you to come to him, don't turn him away. Today is the day of salvation. You don't know if that opportunity will come again. We do not want to go to hell. We do not want to have hell on earth and go to hell for eternity. The enemy would love for that to happen. So you don't want to miss special moments where the Lord could be speaking to you, anointing you, and blessing you like this week will be. All right? If you're new to the family of Christ and you want to join our family, our family, then all you have to do is say a sincere prayer from the bottom of your heart and you too can, can enjoy this week with us for the same reasons because he bore your sin. Amen? All right, so repeat after me. All right, let's do it. Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I turn from my ways and I'm ready to go your way. I believe you are who you say you are. God, coming down in the flesh that walked this earth. I believe you died on the cross just for me. And we celebrate that this week. Thank you. I believe you unlocked the gates to hell 
and you rose the third day. I believe you are alive today in a glorified body in heaven on the right hand side of God the Father. Come in my heart and be my Lord and Savior so I can live with you forever in heaven when I die and so that you can send the Holy Spirit to live inside of me, the Comforter, until then. Amen. If you truly said that prayer from the bottom of your heart, you're what they're called born again. So now you are a new creature. You're going to notice it if you really did say that prayer because now God lives inside of you. See, God has three heads, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Son died on the cross for you and now he's in heaven with the Father. But because we can't be there right now and he's preparing a place for us, he sent God the Holy Spirit to comfort us down here while we're here and to give us wisdom. The very thing we talk about. So Everything going on around us, everyone else, they're just going by what meets the eye. They're getting thrown here and there by things. But we have wisdom. We have access to knowing the truth. And the Holy Spirit in us reveals it to us and allows me to help you and you can help others. So pray for wisdom. And the wisdom for today is to make this a celebratory week and ignore all of the things that the enemy would like to steal from us. It's a blessed day beautiful week that we're going to celebrate. So welcome to the family. Get the Bible, the Holy Bible, go into the book of John and begin to learn more about who Jesus is and what this world's all about and who you are. Okay. God bless you. Why don't you join me on Sundays at two so you can learn more about God and his messages. Amen. God willing, I'll see y'all next week on Woman's Wisdom Wednesday. Bye.